All right, how's it going guys? It is currently like mid to late March. I think it's like March 19th. I never know the date. I think it's March 19th. Um, so it's been a pretty rough uh, beginning of spring here. It's just trying to catch fish um, while you're dodging the, you know, the rain events that we get here and then the cold weather and then the fact that it's still early. Um, it's just it's just really difficult at the moment and then on the nice days where I actually do get out and fish I haven't caught much at all. So uh, It's been really rough. The last fish I caught was about a week ago um, In a river and it was actually a pretty good catch and it was something new that I've never caught before um, And it's a fish that we have around here. That's actually pretty common, but I'll uh, add that video to the end of this um, So you guys can see that but yeah, it's just been a struggle um, this whole beginning of the year and I think I struggled last year at this point too um, And then things started turning around once April hit I've been meaning to do this video for a while And I've just neglected to do it because I've been busy fishing doing other things But I'm gonna do uh, an intro to the channel and kind of like what this channel will be and what you guys uh, You know can look forward to in the future for some of these videos I'm gonna put out so I got a list here because uh, there's a lot of things I kind of want to talk about and I don't want to make this video too long and people get bored so so I kind of want to talk about like what this channel will be type of fishing videos that are gonna be on here um, and then uh, a little bit of my fishing history just how I got into it and then uh, some future fishing trips for the year um, there's a couple uh, not really fishing trips, but vacations I'm going on that I'm going to fish on at the same time. And then I kind of want to describe the, the fishing that I have around me and where I'll be going. And then I got a, another little thing to do at the end of this video too um, that involves like a, a mystery tackle box thing. But it's not the actual mystery tackle box, it's something else. So without further ado, I'm going to get into this. Um, if you guys haven't watched any of my videos, uh, welcome. Uh, <laughs> this is... Uh, my channel is called Creeks for Weeks, and I try to fish in a lot of like uh, creek areas and areas that people don't think to fish in. Um, so sometimes that's small creeks, sometimes that's larger creeks, which I guess are more common. But uh, I catch a whole bunch of different species in these kind of spots. Um, but then I also go to like just try to try to find hidden ponds, um, little cool spots on rivers, and anything else I can find. So I want, what I want this channel to be is kind of like a source of entertainment for you guys. So um, if anybody enjoys watching these random fishing videos um, and they're kind of realistic for most people in the world that don't have fishing boats and stuff, uh, came to the right place because that's the kind of fishing I do most of the time. One of these days I'll get a boat, but uh, not, not right now. Um, I do eventually want to start fishing in kayaks and I actually have a kayak that I'm in the process of uh, getting rigged up to be able to to go out on the water. I also want this channel to kind of be for people who are trying to get into fishing and you know maybe this is like a source of inspiration for you guys to go out there and uh, just start fishing or just you know start going anywhere anywhere or you know check out some of these smaller water areas um, but this is also a great channel for uh, any experts that like watching these videos too so just whoever and then I may also mention the weather a lot because I'm a huge weather nerd so I might talk about like I don't know uh, storms that we're getting in way too much detail and just like stupid stuff like that um, you guys just have to deal with it because I'm a huge weather nerd and I also eventually want to maybe do some storm chasing in the future but that's a long way down the way long way down the road. So I wanted to go over a little bit of my uh, fishing history here in brief detail. Started out when I was young fishing um, in a little harbor that we go to uh, for vacation and stuff and um, this is kind of up in the Michigan area. What I used to do was go out there with a tiny little hook and put a little hot dog on it and then go and fish for like bluegill or any of the panfish that were in the water there. Um, and that's how, you know, I just got into it. Uh, my family isn't super into fishing, so we never, I never even bass fished until high school. So that brings me to when I got older into high school, my group of friends liked uh, to fish a lot, but we, we mainly pond hopped. So uh, we would just throw out like Senko worms on a, you know, the Texas rig UWG hook and, you know, hope for, hope for the best. But we were always in super pressure neighborhood ponds. Um, we never usually caught anything. I mean, if we got one bass on in a day, that would be amazing. This was, like I said, more of like a, uh, a social thing we did. 
um, great way to hang out with people. And then, you know, sometimes like girls that we hang out with can't, would come, but I always enjoyed the fishing aspect of it, but I, you know, I never really, uh, got super into it at that point just because there's no driving force for that. Fast forward to 2020, uh, right when coronavirus hit, COVID, um, and everyone is quarantining, staying at home and getting uh, a little stir crazy. My dad and I went fishing to like a local little creek and did exactly what I used to do when I was 10 years old. We threw these little hooks out with, uh, with hot dogs on them and we caught like green sunfish and things like that and it was so much fun. And from then on, you know, I've been hooked. So that year of 2020, I kind of like went around our creeks and just fish whenever I had time, um, but I didn't actually record anything and that's kind of where I started learning, you know, how it works. I started getting a lot of recommendations from YouTube from channels where they do like creek fishing. So really good channel that is one of my inspirations is Creek Fishing Adventures. He does some awesome fishing videos uh, and he's down in like Tennessee, that area, um, a little close to Appalachian. So there's a ton of awesome areas that go out over there. So check out his channel if you guys, you know, like this creek fishing stuff. Um, and then, you know, I just started recording uh, about a year after 2020. So in 2021, I started using a GoPro, uh, had a ton of fun with it, with the editing and everything. And then I, you know, got a nicer GoPro and you know, I'm, I'm now we're here in 2022 and going on a almost year two for um, the channel. If any of you watching this, you know, you're not really into fishing, but you like watching fishing videos, um, but you always did want to start, but nobody's there to help you. You know, that that's kind of the case I was in. I didn't have, uh, you know, I guess a mentor with fishing. Um, so I, I love my parents. Um, I love my dad, but his main hobby is golfing, which I love that sport too. Um, but yeah, I just kind of taught myself and you know, you guys can do that too if uh, you don't have anybody to teach you. So wanted to map out real quick kind of how the fishing is around here. So I'm kind of in like a river valley area between uh, Dayton, Ohio and Cincinnati. So what we have are a couple of little river systems, like not little, but pretty big river systems that go through and uh, there's all these feeder creeks and stuff. So we have mainly uh, really rocky creeks and rivers. And then we have a few lakes around us that are like small to medium size, nothing crazy big. Uh, they're all reservoirs, so, you know, they're flood control stuff, so they, they muddy up really easily. Plus all of our creeks and rivers muddy up really quickly too. Um, and then we're around a lot of urban areas, so it's really hard to kind of get out into like absolutely pristine creeks. But um, what I do go to are like, some of the creeks in between urban areas that actually do look pretty natural and look pretty good. Um, so sometimes it doesn't take too long to, to get out into a creek and make it look like you're out in the wilderness. But, you know, I'm not going to anywhere like you, you see in the Appalachians, things like that. I think Eastern Ohio has like a lot of really, really wild, pristine creeks and rivers over there. So for this year, 2022, some future fishing trips. Um, I will be going out to the Hocking Hills area pretty soon here, and there's definitely some good fishing out there. And then I'll be going to the Michigan area, and I've actually done a video in this area. Um, I did it back like last May, and uh, there's like a harbor I wanna fish in, and then a river over there, um, take my kayak out. And then later, after the Michigan trip, I'll be going to Florida, and that should be an awesome fishing trip there. So unfortunately, I, I, I just went to Florida and I didn't fish a lot. I just did uh, back bay fishing with my family. Um, but I definitely want to try going and exploring more uh, the local waters down there, trying to get to some, some of the freshwater areas. I'm, where I'm going is pretty close to the Everglades, so I should be able to hit up those like random canals where you can catch like any fish in the world. So yeah, those are just some, some fun fishing trips I'll be doing. I might have some more kind of dotted in here, um, depending on, you know, my vacation schedule and what I can, what I can fit in. So I have like a, uh, generally eight to five, um, eight to four, nine to five kind of job. So, um, a lot of my videos are going to be fishing trips after work where I just go and drive somewhere kind of nearby and go wait for a few hours and then, you know, head home. Um, and then on the weekends, like when I can actually go out, you know, I'll go out and do some longer fishing trips. We well, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I kind of wanted to describe to you guys, 
you know, my work situation with fishing and, you know, the places that I can go to and also uh, a little bit of my fishing history. I know I'm overdue for this, but, you know, I just wanted to get it out there and perfect time right now since I'm not catching much anyways. So a quick update on the channel. I've almost hit my year anniversary of having it. It'll be uh, mid-April when, when that hits. And my goal was to hit about 100 subscribers. And I've hit a recent uh, period of getting a lot at one time. So I'm sitting at 92 subscribers now as of uh, March 19th or whatever the date is. Thank you all for uh, subscribing. It's been, it's been awesome. I can't believe how fast it's grown. I might even surpass that 100 subscriber mark uh, before the year anniversary, which would, be, which would be amazing. Here's one of the last things I wanted to do, just a little uh, fun thing. Um, so I know many of you guys probably get these random tackle boxes of the random lures. This one that I chose is more uh, custom made lures from like uh, smaller batch manufacturers uh, for fishing stuff. And I was actually told about this from a podcast that I listened to called Tackle Talk. So I highly encourage you guys to go uh, check that one out. Tackle Talk is what it's called. You can find it on like Spotify and Apple. Uh, music, whatever. So I'm gonna go over this box. I got this actually like last June, but I kind of forgot about it But I thought it would be kind of fun to show you guys what I got in here So first off we got a spinner bait here. Um, I think these are Colorado blades uh, And it's a quarter ounce, which is perfect for around here. It's from seller baits So that's what it looks like. It's got like a chartreuse color and a white clear color with black spots on there, so Looks like it'll be good to put a trailer on there, and uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be awesome for this time period. Next, we got some stick baits called uh, the Do Dojo Worm, GP Blue Go color, 6.5 inches, um, and it is from Third Eye Bait Company. So those look awesome, and they're the kind of green natural color, so that should be really really good. I don't usually use stick baits this size. Uh, I think the biggest I use is like four inches, so I'll be using this where I, when I know I can catch some big fish. And then I think they gave us some hooks to match with this. These are uh, Jigmaster hooks, which I've heard about this company, and they I think they're really good. And these look like uh, more shaky head style jig heads, so it'll still work for those uh, those stick baits for sure. But they got a little twist lock on there. That looks awesome. And then, last but not least, we got a chatterbait from Motion Fishing Company. Actually, I think this is called a bladed jig. I think chatterbait is the, the branding name for, you know, the chatterbaits that you get from uh, Z-Man. This area here is the 3 8 sound size in white, so should be really cool. I might get this, uh, this random tackle box again in the future, but I didn't want to spend a ton of money on it. I think it's like $25 a month. Um, so if some people want to spend that money, go ahead. Uh, for me, I just, I just wanted to get it one and see what it was like, uh, but I might do it one more time. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And like I said, it's springtime right now, so I'm gonna keep trying to go out and fish and catch stuff. Uh, but like I said, it's been rough. So hopefully I'll be getting some new videos out soon. But stay tuned, I got a little video here kind of uh, showing the most recent catch I have and uh, something new. So hope you guys enjoy that. See you in the next Creeks for Weeks episode. All right, I'll see you guys next time out on the water. Ugh, hope we do that. All right, I'll see you guys next time on the next Creeks. All right, I'll see you guys next time. All right, guys, here's the spot I'm at. Look at that. Maybe I'll take a picture of that. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a uh, crankbait, or not a crankbait, spinnerbait here. This is a pretty small one. It's probably around 3 8 ounce but uh, I don't have a trail on it because it's got this little like, it's got beads on the bottom of the hook. So this should uh, be pretty decent for a river. Like it shouldn't get snagged too bad. Much of a downsize, but I'm using like a quarter ounce swim bait here. These are the crappy ones you get at Walmart that 
I don't know, five bucks for a pack of five. And uh, I just don't really like them, so I don't really care if I lose it. But uh, it's not as loud, a little more subtle. It's still kind of big. There we go, that's a fish. Oh my gosh, this is my first saw guy. First saw guy ever, guys. Ugh. All right, check that out. That is a saw guy, I think, or a sauger. I don't think there's walleye here. Look at that. I don't want him to hurt me. Look at that. I get him with the light. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's a pretty good one, I think. There we go. I will take that. I was actually going for smallmouth. I didn't think I didn't think a saga or saga was gonna go for such a big swim bait. This is what it was, this swim bait right here. I think it's about like four inches. Alright, calling it quits. It's getting dark and there's a bunch of kids that came down to the river throwing rocks in it, so. <laughs> They might be scaring away all the fish. That's all right. I got the one fish I came here for, and it was the first one I've ever caught, so pretty good day. <laughs>